Hello children. Today we will learn about the capacity of utensils. Gaffy is playing near a well with her friends today. While playing, everyone started feeling thirsty. All the friends brought utensils of different capacity to quench their thirst. Gaffy has a jug. She asked all the friends to stand in a line. Everyone stood in a line. Gaffy fills the jug with water and starts filling Joy's bucket. Hey, what is this? Joy's bucket is still empty. Gaffy again filled the jug with water and poured the water into Joy's bucket. This time, Joy's bucket was full. Children, can you tell what is the capacity of Joy's bucket? You thought it right. Joy's bucket has a capacity of two jugs. Gaffy again filled the jug. One, two, three, four. That is, the capacity of Croak's bucket is four jugs. Now it was Apu's turn. Children. What do you think is the capacity of Apu's bucket? Let's figure it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Apu's bucket has a capacity of 7 jugs. The next day, while playing with friends, an idea came to Rani. She told all her friends. Friends, why don't we fill this pot with water? All friends agreed. When Rani started filling water in the pot, She saw that the pot fills with 10 small bowls of water. Sunny finds that the pot is filled with 7 bowls of water. Gaffy fills the pot with 3 mugs of water and Joy with 2 jugs of water. Children, can you tell what the capacity of pot was? When we filled water from small bowl, big bowl, mug and jug. Perfect! The capacity of the pot is 10 small bowls, 7 big bowls, 3 mugs and 2 jugs. Children, now it's your turn to do one such activity. Take a bucket and fill it with water using a mug and then fill the same bucket with water with a bowl Make a table like this in your notebook and write down the number of mugs and bowls used to fill the bucket. Can you tell why less number of mugs and more number of bowls were used for the same bucket of water? Think and share the answer with your family and friends. Children, today we learnt about the capacity of utensils.